Hey, Exoticals. I have a quick story time to tell. So, I remember when I was working at Chipotle a couple years ago. I think this was before I joined the military. So, like, in 2000, what, 15 or something like that? Anyway, so, <laughs> it was a really cool environment to work in as far as employees. Like, everybody got along with everybody. I met my some of my best friends there and everything. So, that was one of my favorite jobs to work at. And I had a manager. Her name was Jane. And the thing about she is an exotical. She's actually, if I'm not mistaken, biracial, black and white. But there's this thing called featureism that might have played a part in how people perceived her. I don't know. Because she had a very pick-me-ish behavior at work with the male employees. Like, it was real crazy. But the men wasn't checking for her like that. As a matter of fact, she was checking for actually one of my guy friends who is actually my brother right now he's like my best friend like but we're like brother and sister that's how close we are and he was considered eye candy of the job so he was like all the girls wanted to be with him he who does he look like i'll put a picture in on the screen of what he looked like phenotype wise but he was literally like the cutest guy but i didn't look at him like that i was already in another relationship like i didn't look at him like that because he's not in my particularly my type like you know how you can see somebody is attractive but they're not your type that's what it gave for me so we were just friends we just all me and him and my other friend, which he was um, <clears throat> an ambiguous black guy, but he was so funny. He used to make us all laugh. And then there was another female in our friend group, which ended up, she ended up dating eye candy, right? So we all just ended up, all four of us are like best friends to this day. So anyway, there was a lot of guys at the job that were trying to get with me, but not eye candy because we we've already established that we're not like that with each other but other guys were up on me and i noticed like whenever i would get around my friend eye candy my manager she she would um i don't know it was just like it gave i'm jealous that you're friends with the cute guy like she will always try so hard to get his attention and this would not work so i remember one incident right one day at work i'm a cashier and my job is to take the money whatever make sure all the money is legit and real so i i do that all the time and i'm very good at my job but one day in particular they called me in the back of the office and ju- and <clears throat> and, my, and she accused me of stealing or she accused me of having fake money in my register and I was like, I, I make sure I check, and we check the cameras and everything. It was like this big serious thing. I thought I was about to get fired and everything. Like I was all hurt about it. And like, I know for a fact, she was actually more accusing me of being a part of some type of cons- conspiracy to forge money. Because at the time, I was going through a lot. I was struggling a lot. I was, I was going through it. That's why I ended up joining the military because I was borderline about to be homeless at this time. Like, life was really hard. The guy I was with was just horrible to be with. And my life was falling apart. And I used to confine in my manager when we first met. And so she kind of used that information against me in this situation. Like, she was like, I know you're going through a lot right now. Are you sure you didn't try to plan this or plan? I was like, what? No, like, you know who I am. You know my, you know I wouldn't do this to you guys. And she was so persistent on trying to, like, like really convince herself that I stole. And I, I did this, and I didn't. And I didn't. It wasn't me. But she was so sure of it. I was just like, whatever. And one of my other managers, the male, he was more on my side than she was. And it, I thought that was very weird. Because I thought me and her were close. So it threw me off. It threw me off because I just thought me and her were just better than that. And so a couple of months later, 
I ended up quitting the job, and then I ended up working at another job. Um, that's kind of close to that place, but it's a different environment. It's a different type of job, but it was whatever. And then it was actually at Walmart. I'll just tell y'all because who cares? Walmart is everywhere. Um, I was at Walmart, and she happened. So she happened to be at Walmart shopping with her mom. Like this was maybe like a year later, and she sees me and. <laughs> Her attitude is already nasty towards me. And she she made some smart remark about me because I was working at the register at Walmart too. And she made some smart remark about, um, you sure um, the money's right this time? She made some type of smart joke like that. And I was like, Are you still got a graduate about you thinking me stealing? When I feel like you was just trying to get me fired because you like eye candy. And I found out through the male manager that you also work with, I found out that you like him and you act weird when me and him are around because he's like my brother. So it's not even like that, but you think it's like that and it's not. So it just gave jealousy. I heard she used to do, she, she used to get a train ran on her and everything by dudes at our job like the other male co-workers like she would be messing around with them and i candy told me this he told me she he was there but he didn't you know he didn't do anything with her and maybe she felt some type of way about that but she i ended up finding out that she actually liked him and she thought that me and him were together because we were so close I was like so are you trying to sabotage me because and that happens to me all the time when a girl likes a guy and she thinks that guy likes me and maybe he does but she'll try to sabotage me she'll try to sabotage me and i'm going through this in my current real life right now at work with this female co-worker so it's, it's like it never ends and it just never ends no yeah that's my dog <laughs> but yeah just a quick story time I wanted to tell. My boss tried to get me fired because I was getting too much attention. She even kept me from getting a promotion. I remember up for a promotion, me and one girl, and she took the other girl, even though I work harder and I knew that I'm really, I'm really a hard worker, more hard working than other people. I am a great multitasker. Like, they hated it when I left Chipotle. They hated it. But, yeah, that's a quick story time I wanted to tell y'all. Did y'all have any stories like this where y'all managers try to sabotage you, jealous coworkers, anything? Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for listening.